What's what, what's funny is that I think in Double Impact, the uh, the second version of the Street Fighter Three games, Ibuki was like ridiculous god tier. Uh, from what I can remember, I I, I did not play uh, Double Impact too much in the arcade or Giant Attack. I forget what it, what it was officially called, but um, yeah, dude, it she was so damn good in that game. It blew my freaking mind. So good. I ran into some pretty similar people. I ran into this guy like three times, but the matches and the the matchmaking go by so fast that getting a bunch of games in like the span of ten minutes. Build some meter. Hey. Hey. Good call. Oh, good call. This is what Makoto does. I did not predict right. I definitely did not predict right. This is a stun. There we go. Okay. Can't let her do that again. Makoto guesses right. This is what happens. I'm gonna jump in on it. Oh, crap. Good stuff. Damn! Stunned already! Damn! Actually, I've, I've hardly ever seen anybody use that move as an anti-air. That's pretty crazy. It was to the point where I was jumping in and attacking, and I didn't even think of parrying at all because Makoto's got garbage for anti-air. Um, wow! Never even really seen anybody use it like that before. That's pretty nuts. Something new every day on Third Strike Online. Dudley versus Ken. I like I like Dudley. I think I lost to a Ken earlier, but see if we can not let that happen fight. again. Like gentle Forgetting to use Dudley's forward, uh, forward, forward. This. Great. Oh my god. That is gonna kill me? Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, what the hell? Oh, he delayed his low. Okay, I got I got a bunch of effing meter that I need to use, son. That's one way to do it. Oh, the fireball is still on the screen. You have no dignity. Oh, Dudley, why are you so fun? I've always, I've really had trouble, uh, even before when I was playing this game a lot, uh, online of doing Dudley's corner combos. It's, that stuff is really sensitive timing, and it can be difficult. That was a pretty good connection, though. I kind of liked it. Alright, let's see what we can see. Uh, I was thinking about playing Ryu. I'm gonna stick with Dugs. It's funny, I think the character I've seen the most so far is... is, uh... Hugo. Ah! 
Got him. Butter ass. I try to duck under it. Oh, he's not falling for that stuff. Oh my god. Oh! Multi-hit chip damage. That was pretty close. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I had I had no life. I didn't even realize. Yeah, winning by chip damage against people who know what they're doing in third strike ain't gonna work. <laughs> really ain't gonna work. Uh, a lot of the time, people really know the timing patterns and the the uh, I call them like. Um, like, things that you, you go to look by for parrying timings, kind of just like timers in a way. It was it was a weird thing. I went by sound a lot of the time, and then eventually I learned to, to not parry by sound. Uh, but it's very much a rhythm thing, how you, how you treat the rhythm of the moves. Gagos Breaka! It, I'm telling you, I've seen nothing but Hugo so far. If you don't mind. Do a splash. Come on, do a splash. No, sir. Gotcha. No more jumping. No. Gotcha trash. Fighters ready. Engage. No! Oi! Stuff! Constantly be thrown at the big man! Yeah, Hugo doesn't have nearly as many, like, ridiculously abusable moves as he does in, like, you know, Street Fighter Cross Tekken. He's, he's so good in that game, it's insane. Uh, he can be zoned out really well, but in this game, he... Uh, is, he's, he's good! He's still really good, but I think Hugo's a pretty challenging character to use. Um, I don't think, yeah, I don't think it's easy to use Hugo in this game at all. Let's see. Might end up using Oro a little bit a bit later. Get some, I'm gonna get some stupid, like, Ken Blue costume again. I'll bet. Yep, I knew it. And the guy gets superior. Damn it. Game thought he died. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I can't believe that worked. <laughs> that was the slowest walk forward ever. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, 
was waiting for it too. There we go. Hit by hit. Uh, he never actually really got the- I guess he didn't get the chance to boost, boost his defense, but if you're sitting at that full screen, I think it's kind of worth it to eat maybe one fireball in order to boost defense. I don't know, I am definitely no expert Q player. I just think the guy looks friggin' awesome. There was some crazy custom color that they gave Kenny. It looked like Dante. Let me see if I can find that one again. Carefree shade. Please don't have bad ping. Okay. Zero rank, wow. Is there really not too many people not to choose from? I guess I can try using, um... I can try using Oro. Matengu Stone. This one, I actually think his EX one is pretty difficult to parry, too. Going in. Oh my god! Oh dear, oh dear lord. This man has zero me zero, but he definitely knows what he's doing. Oh, I wasted the meter like a fool! Like a fool! Those things aren't like Ouroboros, you actually have to hit attacks. Nice! Red parry of the night. I just tried it. There, there's those moments where I don't even really think about red parrying, and for some of you guys watching, red parrying is like a much, much, much more like kind of one frame strict timing version of a normal parry. You actually have to go from the block, uh, the block motion to the parry motion within a very short period of time. And whenever I do it, it's really weird. Like when I try to do it, it just it just feels like I can hit it. <laughs> 